If you love what we do, then please consider supporting Cryptfail on Patreon. Your support helps us grow and to create more content more often. And now, on with the show. So Cyphus had to roll because she hasn't had food for five days. She rolled against discipline, two purples and a red, and the result was two fails and a threat. So delirious. All right. She goes down an alleyway and probably throws up. Shouldn't have given you my beer that I didn't want, I guess. That's all right. I shouldn't have drunk it. I forgot that I hadn't had a drink in a few days. Is, th- is that what happens if you don't drink for a few days and then you drink? Well, let's face it. I hadn't eaten since Monday, so having a yeah. full belly of food mm. and I sort of rushed through it a little bit and then Just a little. two schooners of beer it was a little bit too much I think I was <clears throat> oh, wow. but at least I feel a little bit skinnier I don't think you need to be any skinnier I think you need to eat more food and not die <laughs> she's like uh... trying to pull out her very taut <laughs> skin yeah <laughs> no that's not an issue you need to eat more food regularly i don't know i think i need to get paid first uh wouldn't be bad well, i've been a little bit preoccupied as well that's true but if you don't eat anything and you collapse and die you're not going to be able to find anybody which reminds me you being a thief and all uh-huh you'd be you'd be in the know of who to contact if anyone needed like a passport or, or a fake identification uh might i am assuming by anyone you mean you no not me oh no you want to see if he did uh huh correct (sighs) okay i can check the thing is he would be a lot richer than me and he would know better people (laughs) he wouldn't be a lot richer than you if he's got um like uh, all of his bank accounts and stuff have been seized Uh, and have they he could have money elsewhere. Not everyone keeps all their money in the bank. I don't have any well, money in a bank. That'd be true. Maybe that's how he got away. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm really stressing out because I, what he did to those <laughs> yeah. elves yeah, was good. just pure evil. I can ask a couple people, but again, I think he he probably knows people who have uh, better quality work. There's no rush, friend. We'll focus on... uh, If you're not going to eat properly until this is sorted out, then yes, there is a rush. Well, we'll get through this first. Okay. Well, as soon as Terry's uh, not distracted... He's walking a bit far in front of us. (laughs) I think he's in a bit of a rush. He's got longer legs. Oh, crap. What? I forgot my backpack. Oh. (sighs) I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded. Do you need me to run back and get it? No, I'd, we'll wait and see what the job is first. We might be able to steal a laptop if we need one. I'm sure you're handy at that. I don't think you'll be stealing it, that's for sure. How old do you think I am, anyway? Are you asking Adam or are you asking <laughs> Cypher? Cypher. <laughs> Who keeps saying I'm very old. But, uh, you gotta be in your 30. Okay. Huh? Okay. Am I wrong? <laughs> yes. You, oh no. Let me guess. I've offended you, haven't I? No. I just think it's funny. Oh, so you, you're older. <laughs> no. Certainly feel older. Very tired. Very busy. But no. I am not in my 30s and I am not older. Okay, so... When you say you're not in your 30s, then I'm assuming you're not in your 40s then, because you look a little bit too I young. I said I'm not in my 30s and I'm not older than that. You're definitely not a teenager, that's for sure. Because then that no. means you'd be younger than me. Huh. And we couldn't have that now, could we? Okay, so you're in your 20s. If you say so. And I'm sticking with it. Alright. We'll stick with it. That's what my ID says anyway. Terrence would have just gone, eh, they'll catch up and he's probably <laughs> already done washing your laundry at this point. He's just left the door unlocked for when you guys get there. All right. Cypher walks in behind Ren, uh, shivering. Yeah, she's really cold. Why? What happened? Uh, well, she threw up, but I think she 
she's in that really tiny dress, so that's why she's cold. Well, she still had my jacket the last time I checked. Did you leave that at your apartment, too? <laughs> Oops. Did you latch? With her backpack and her laptop. <sighs> yeah, so <sighs> she's really cold, and I, I don't know if she's sick or if it's just from not eating, but she was throwing up in an alley. It's great. It's all been great. I think she's just on a secret mission to steal all my sweaters. At which point he pulls out a sweater and hands it to her. Well, thanks, Terry. But uh, I'm not going to need one if you're washing me clothes. Yeah, your clothes are already washed. Here they oh. are. Awesome. There was not a sweater in this pile. Uh, but there would have been a jacket. No. I mean, it's a cut-off jacket. You said there was a t-shirt and some pants and some under things. There was no jacket. Delirious cipher. Slightly more incomprehensible than normal. Oh, yeah. Cipher. There was no jacket in there. It's just a t-shirt and jeans and yes. pair of gloves. Yes, so borrow the sweater. Oh. <sighs> Much appreciated, Terry. Is there a room I can get changed? And does this sweater have to be green? What's wrong with green? I'm not going to change the color of my sweater. If you don't want it, you can freeze to death. Uh, 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 What's wrong? What's wrong okay. with green? Green is fabulous. It's very earthly. Is, yeah. Do you have a room I can get changed in? There's the bathroom over there. Cypher <laughs> picks up her clothes and reluctantly picks up the green sweater and heads into the bathroom to get changed. I did not know she had a hatred of the color green. Oh, know she that hates either. it so much. Why? <laughs> <laughs> we oh, don't know. oh, she's she doesn't connect well with her with her elven heritage. Oh, okay, so she hates green things. Yeah. Well, they're all about nature and flowers and crap, and that's just not who Cipher is. I mean, come on. Yeah, not but all like. Of us. Okay, Cypher. Hey. She's got good hearing. Oh, yeah, that's because she's an elf. I heard that. Yeah, I <laughs> kind of figured you would at this point. And that. Uh... <laughs> okay. Hurry up, girlie. Okay. We got things to do. We don't want to be late for where we actually have to be. Cypher opens up the door to the bathroom. She's, uh, Yep, completely dressed in her jeans, shirt, mm -hmm. and she's got the sweater tied. Um, like, she's got it hanging over her back with the arms coming around her neck, and she's tied tied it up into, like, a, uh, a knot uh, at the front. Actually wear it, please, so you don't die of colds. Look, if it's that much of a problem for you that it's green, I will trade you my black hoodie for that green sweater. And now you're bartering with my clothes. I just want her to wear something warm. Oh, the hoodie. Oh, oh yes, the hoodie. Thanks, Ren. That'd be really... That's really nice of you. Okay. So Ren will take off her sweater and trade with Cypher, who refuses yep. to wear green. <laughs> Cypher hands Ren the green sweater. Taryn disgruntled. Sorry, Terry. Ah. <sighs> It's not that I don't appreciate the offer, Terence. It's just... I'm not going to keep it. Don't worry. And then I'm not going to keep this one, although... Oh, jeez, it feels really comfortable. I can see <laughs> how you can sneak around everywhere in it. Oh, and it hides your face, too, as she pulls the hood over. Oh, nice yeah, if you try and keep it, I am breaking back into your apartment, and I am taking it back. Feel free to clean the apartment while you're taking it back. I might. <laughs> If you do, you might want to leave a note <laughs> so you don't freak me out. I don't even know if you'd notice. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry for borrowing your sweater technically without asking. Sorry. It's fine. I'm I'm more disgruntled that girly there was unappreciative. I appreciate it, Teddy. It's just that it's green. Which is apparently a huge issue. We got it. Not really, but whatever. Maybe for a 40-year-old, it might be all right. I am not 40. 
<laughs> you may not be 40, but she thought I was. What? No, I said you were 30. And then when I said I wasn't 30, you said 40? No, I said you couldn't be in your 40s because you look too young. Oh, glad anyway. to know. <laughs> we're talking about ages. We should be going to this job. Whoa, okay, I'm let's feeling go. a little bit lightheaded. Um, uh, where are we going again? Um, 31, uh, a road that I maybe remember, maybe don't. It was something like Vander Road. Vanderhorn? No. It's it's in the chat somewhere. Oh. Or no, it's in it's in my chat somewhere. I don't know. I yes. just wrote yes. it down, but I didn't. Thirty-one, hear it thirty-one, Avender. Avender. Okay. At midnight, I'm supposed to be there, or something. Yeah. We're only late afternoon. Uh, <sighs> isn't it night by now? Yeah, it would be night by stuff. now. We have to. I gotta, I gotta call George and ask him to round up near your place because we gotta head back there to get your laptop, right? All right. First, um, Cypher heads into the kitchen and opens up uh, uh, one of um, Terence's cupboards. What are you doing? Up and down. Hmm. Are you going to eat? You just threw up. Terence, you got any crackers or something? Oh, Try. Be a I could good idea, them. actually. Uh, I've got some granola bars in the bottom cupboard to your left. Hmm. They're kind of dry. They're Nature Valley. So they're very dry. They crumble. Not like sugary ones or anything, right? Oh, like a muesli uh, bar? Yeah, kind of. It's got bits of freeze-dried apple in it. It might be okay. Apple's not terrible. Not as good as like banana apple. if you're sick, but... Okay. <sighs> cool. Thanks, Teddy. She goes down into the drawer uh, cupboard on the left opens it up, pulls out the box. Oh, how many are in here? Twelve. Well, maybe like ten or eleven because he's been using them as a snack, but not many. Cypher so takes two out. Do you need any, like, painkillers or anti-nausea meds or anything like that? Uh, Terrence is on the phone trying to get a hold of George and he says corner on the right I mean I've got some too if she needs them it's on the bottom shelf we don't have to take Ooh. all your stuff uh, the one that says Ambien no Ambien? what? <laughs> <laughs> look Cypher what do you do you feel like you need something for nausea or pain where do you got Ambien in here mm. what is Ambien <laughs> Uh, it, um, uh, Ambien uh, when you just can't sleep are you doing an ad for it Cypher <laughs> laying awake there in the middle of the night is it like sleep medication uh, uh, affirmative why Why did you <laughs> sneak sleep medication into my cupboard <laughs> oh uh, I think she just read the bottle wrong Hi, George. Uh, can you swing by Cypher's house? We're going to be there in a few minutes. Sure thing. Thank you. And he's like, come on, girl girly, take your pain meds or whatever you need out of my cupboard and then let's go. Cypher so grabs a tab of um, what looks to be like something like pain at all. Pain at all? Pain and <laughs> all. <laughs> pain <laughs> <and> all. <laughs> all right. I got my drugs. Great. All right. Let's go. We'll get your laptop and George should be there by the time we get there. And you can yep. give Terry his jacket back. Of course. All right, let's go. Cypher heads out of the room. And we all go to Cypher's place. Yeah, we do. Normally, Cypher would be skipping, but she's not. She's more walking in a straight line. Well, she's been sick. I'm really yeah. surprised. Do you, do you think it's just the food, or do you think you're actually sick? Like, do you feel like you have a fever? She's, like, walking out in front of you and she turns around she starts walking backwards uh, uh, wh what? do you feel like you have a fever? Uh, no I'm okay I just haven't eaten for a few days so just... she takes the last okay. bite of the 
muesli bar that she was eating. Not bad, Terrence. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, try not to skip meals for that long again, okay? Yeah, I already lectured her about that. She says, it's not that bad. She's gone longer without eating. I mean, if you ever want to come and just bother me for food, I usually have something, even if it's just small snacky crap like that. Yeah, I mean, you can't come to my apartment, but if you need food, you can text me and I can, like, break into your apartment and leave some there. Um, Cypher's looking really confused. <laughs> oh, we don't want you to accidentally starve to death. That would be horrible. Yeah, you need to eat. I know, I need to eat. You seem to know I've just been... you didn't do it. Yeah, okay, so I've just been really stressed the last few weeks. Well, not eating actually makes you more stressed. Well, to be honest, most of it, I just slept through it. I mean, sure, but still, we're your friends, Cypher. You don't need to, I don't know, isolate yourself. I'll keep that in mind for next time. Great. She puts up one hand and sort of semi-salutes, turns <laughs> around and starts walking in the front direction rather than walking backwards. For forwards? <laughs> she starts walking in a forwards direction. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a word for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Yep. In the in the front direction. <laughs> that, is, that is the new proper term for walking forward. All right. So it's not far. So we're probably at Cipher's apartment again. Yep. Yeah. She buzzes herself in. And then, um, actually, I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> she goes up to her part. Excuse Probably me, open the door. Probably has a key card to get yeah. into yep. the building, or or mm. a code you can punch into a keypad. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be the code because she would have forgotten her card. Uh. <laughs> Surprised she remembers the code then. I'm not. She remembers all sorts of computery crap. Just yeah, it's objects. like a, okay. it's like a thirteen-digit code, you know, <laughs> that, she, that she punches in. Um, for for apartment buildings, it's usually like a f four or five-digit code. <laughs> yes, but she can't <laughs> remember four or five digits. Got it. Got it. That's so simple. It's just too easy to forget. So, what, the, the pain medication that um, Terrence had, was it like something like oxycodone or something? No, it would have been like Tylenol or Advil. Oh. <laughs> pain, <laughs> pain it all. Pain it all, yep. Pain it all. <laughs> all right. Cypher heads into the apartment, shoves down a handful of um, uh, painkillers. A handful? With a bottle of water. Uh picks up her backpack a oh, handful as in like three tablets okay and then uh, yeah as, as you do as you do as you do um the uh, terrence's cloak is hanging over uh the chair in the kitchen All right. cloak yeah i didn't no. know he had a cloak well on cypher it was more like a cloak <laughs> how big is the sweater i'm wearing it's it's Terrence's size, and he's not a small dude. He's like okay. six feet tall, so it probably goes down to around your knees or something. It's baggy. Okay, excellent. Okay, Cipher, did you the, get everything you need for real? Um, she checks a bag. I, it's all in here. Do you need like a proper coat or anything? You've got my sweater, but that's not much. Um. Could take a jacket, but it might smell a little bit. <laughs> She's okay. looking a little bit sheepish. We're gonna have to wash all I'll of I'll go, I'll go to the laundromat way. tomorrow. All right, I guess we're ready then. Where is the taxi driver maintenance? Uh, he should be outside about now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cipher so waits for you guys to head out and then locks the door behind him. Excellent, excellent job locking the door. Good job. Cipher frowns at Ren. What? Door. Lock. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I don't sarcasm. know. Sarcasm. It wasn't sarcasm. I thought some positive reinforcement might help. That's just my voice, you know. 
Uh, you're in the voice. Well, that, that's, you're using your outer voice at the moment. I, what? That's just her voice, is what she said, not her yeah. inner voice. <laughs> <laughs> Terrence holds like the back of his hand up to Cypher's forehead. Are you okay? Yeah, I do have a thermometer. Should we check your temperature? Sorcery. Okay. No, I'm not sick. I'm fine. I'm just a little bit um, famished. Okay. She opened well, up the sec second muesli bar and we'll starts see. chomping on it. Nibbling away. If you pass out or something, then I don't actually know what we'll do, but we'll have to do something. Oh, it's going to be interesting then. <laughs> yep. Well, there's George. Oh, you remembered his name. Oh. Hey, that's the second time. Yeah, because I hate that goddamn sound. Oh. Sounds like a donkey getting its balls ripped off. Why do you know what that sounds like? <laughs> Good question. I grew up on a farm. Oh, did you? Maybe that's why she hates the color green. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he already blew it. Uh, no, oh, he blows it just again. Preemptively hated you it. You bastard. <laughs> Well, let's just go get in the car, and then there won't be any need to honk the horn at us, Cypher. Cypher opens up the back door and slides all the way over to the left. And I guess Ren will get in and sit in the middle, since Terry probably wouldn't fit in the middle as well, because he's got longer legs. Yeah. So where to? Uh, we are going Avondale to Drive. 31 Avondale Drive. Okay. Or Avender. Was it Avondale, or was it Avender? Or Avender. I have Avender. Avender, yes. Yeah. And, yeah. 31 is for sure. Wait, this is a job? Yeah. Yeah? Did you forget that? Uh, no. Did, did Fenniman tell us how much we're getting paid? I think so. We just got that little post-it note, remember? So we're we getting busy. paid to meet this guy? Or is this where we're going to go pick up the details of the job? No idea, but we're more likely to get paid doing this than sitting around in your apartment doing more laundry. <clears throat> Well, that would be very true. And Cypher lays her head against the door, looking out the window as the car's driving along. Taxi, not car. Yeah, he didn't really give me a whole lot of information. No, we don't really have any idea, do we? Oh, well, any job's got to be better than none. Yeah, this one job every six weeks thing is getting a bit old, though. <sighs> it really is. I, yeah, can't really manage with that. Cypher, do you want to pay me to clean your house? <laughs> she doesn't have any money either, remember? I know. <laughs> I could pay you in love. Okay. And friendship. Okay. And understanding. Okay. And what do you understand? Good advice. <laughs> you don't I even could... know how old I am and you thought I dated eight people. What do you understand exactly? Well... <laughs> By the time you get to your age, you should have at least dated eight people by now. Oh, I see, I see. Told you, <laughs> don't have time. That's an average of one per year. But anyway, besides Wait, that, if, you, if your computer one per year? Eight. if your computer gets not broken, eight. um, you what? shouldn't be dating at that age. <laughs> when you're eighteen, yeah, I'm saying you're probably you around about twenty six. So, <sighs> at an average of one boyfriend per year for eight years, you'd be roughly around 26 to 30 years old. You've got some weird math, Cypher. Yeah, that doesn't work. Sorry. Okay. Um, failing that, I could hook you up with someone. Told you, don't have time. Not interested. Okay. Uh, if you ever break your computer, I can fix it. <laughs> I don't... Or I can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can retrieve your stuff, but I can fix no, it. No, you can't fix it. You can't come to my apartment. Oh, it's a desktop? Yes. And you're moving into a residential area that is uh, reasonably poor, by the looks of it. Now, what in the heck kind of job do we have going on? I don't well, know. Well, this is just looking promising. I didn't recognize the address at all, so I really didn't know where we were going. Most of the houses lot don't look lived in. There's not many that have lights on. Huh. And he pulls up outside of a single story house. There is some flickering light from within, possibly a fireplace. Oh. Hmm. Well. We're supposed to meet at midnight, aren't we? Because Cypher's sort of munching away in a music bar. 
What time is it? Terrence looks at his watch. He's like, it's 11.30. We should be fine. Yeah. Thanks, George. Thank you. No problem. Yes, this is it. You. All right. Terrence, get there. Are you sure this is it? <laughs> he looks around. He looks at his paper with the address on it. He shrugs, and he goes up to the door and knocks. And Ben's going to follow. She's going to send a quick text on her phone, and then she's going to follow. Cypher's just sitting on the back seat, just looking at them both. Just You're not coming, Cypher? Um, you sure this is the place? I It doesn't look know. like a usual meet and greet. Well, Where does anywhere look like a usual meet and greet? Well, I suppose if it was like an abandoned warehouse, that would be more up what we're used <laughs> to, but... All right, okay. Um, again, thanks, um... Yeah, thanks. George? Um, we don't know how long we're gonna be, because we don't know what we're doing. Okay, do you want me to wait? Uh, if you could wait for about half an hour, just in case we need a quick getaway for some reason, that would be fabulous. Alright. Thank you. And the door opens, and there is oh. a guy there, and he's wearing black trousers and a black button-up shirt. And he looks about late 40s, long hair that he's wearing in a ponytail that is slicked with oil or something like that. Like hair oil, not like car oil. So I just know if I'm <laughs> going to go car oil. <laughs> yes. Uh, we're here for the meeting. Meeting? You mean job? Yes. yes. He checks you out, doesn't say anything, and he just steps back. <laughs> Terrence yeah. will go in. I will follow looking, no doubt, very professional in a giant green sweater. And the house is reasonably sparse, but not totally. There's no TV or anything like that. There's only one record player and some vinyl records in a shelf. And the kitchen's off to one side. And he walks over to a sort of a study. And there's a table and several chairs and he sits down at the table. Terrence will follow suit after a moment of looking around. Um, yeah, Ren's gonna sit down. Did Cypher follow us into this house? You turn around and Cypher's almost standing immediately behind Ren. Okay, there she is. Well, Ren's sitting now, so <laughs> if Cypher <laughs> wants to stand directly behind her chair, I guess she can. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you might be more comfortable sitting, Cypher. To be honest, I've been sitting for days, so it's a pleasure to stand. Oh, oh. okay. And he makes a slight sweeping gesture with his hand and the front door closes. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Cypher rolls her eyes. And he pauses. <laughs> Does anybody else smell Windex? Uh, that's this one. I tried to get the smell out. Now, oh, tell me. Maybe later, business first. I might have questions for you. You're to guard something tomorrow night at a handoff. Uh -huh. And he glances at a small case that's behind him on a shelf. Alright, uh, what is it that we're guarding? An item. That's all you need to know. We're handing it off to the buyer, and you get your cut. And okay. what is our cut? 5500 for one night's work. Not bad. Um, is that age? No. Stop being greedy. I have some you questions for you. Uh, what are some of our possible... Um, who are some of the possible players that we may be guarding this against? Is this guy an elf? Nope. He's like, we... I am not expecting outside interference. As far as I know, no one apart from the buyer knows I have the item. However, we are selling it to the Albinos, and I don't entirely trust them. Oh, so you're more worried about... The buyer? A snatch without the payment. They can afford it. I don't think that they're going to do that, but it would be imprudent not to assume that the possibility exists. All right. I mean, any number of gangs might try to steal it, but it is a very specialized item and useless to them. They might try anyway if they knew. Well, items of value are items of value. Now, about my question. Can you show me how to do that thing with the door? <laughs> it is a 
simple telekinesis spell. It is a simple cantrip. Did you did you just say cantrip? Yes, it's a simple cantrip. Can you show me? He moves his hand and you hear the door unlock and he pulls it towards him and the door opens. That's so cool. I work mostly with thaumaturgy, so this mm. this is very neat. <laughs> Give me a something roll. A something roll. Uh, perception. I play. just I just got your message. <laughs> Alright. Um I will roll a white die. Because I I don't know what you're trying to get me to do. Roll perception. But we oh. need white. Oh. Oh no. But we, okay, we all need white. to roll white or because it's a new adventure, so Oh, so we all have to roll Yeah, I do need that, but um Terry can do a perception roll. Okay. Terrence, where is your perception hidden? Oh dear. <laughs> We're bad at this. <laughs> oh. Bleeding <laughs> heck. Oh no. Oh, wow. One, Sorry guys. Two. My not a, um, single, not a single light side point. Three. My sickness is, sickness is rubbed off on everybody. Awesome. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm going to have to spend them somewhere. Oh no. dear. I should have had a black to my roll. Uh, what am I rolling my perception against? Two purples? Yeah. I notice things. I notice you notice so things. Oh, wow. You really notice things. Triumphantly, do you notice things? Yeah, with advantage. Uh huh. That was a damn good roll. Uh huh. Go yellow dice actually working for something that probably <laughs> doesn't matter very much. <laughs> I only ever get triumphs on opening doors. That's the only time I've gotten. Okay, well, once for perceiving that people were coming down a hallway or something. Mm. You notice that instead of using magic, he was using actually a button <laughs> on the remote control. Terrence would be so sad. <laughs> He'd be like, but we're not Cypher, doing your job. I Cypher feel would be, wow, that is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> And Ren's just wondering if doors you lock with magic are any harder to unlock than... If she muttered this out loud, Terrence's response would be, he's probably got the place warded. There were some uh, runes etched on the outside wall. Mm. I mean, you could try it, but I wouldn't suggest it. Some I'm not talking about explode. this door. Well, I mean, in general. If, if, there's, if there's a magically locked door, the likelihood that it will explode no, in no, your no, face No, 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 no. Not a magically locked door. That looked like a door that was just locked by magic. It's the normal door lock. It's just done with magic. I just don't know if there's anything kind of holding the lock shut or if you can just open it like normal. He's probably looking at us with, like, slight concern at this point. Yeah, just a little bit the conversation's happening in front of him. He's the one hiring criminals. We, we would never... Try I and break specifically into said, not this door. We, um... Curiosity. Professional hmm. curiosity. Professional curiosity, yes. Because we're all professionals here. Mm, maybe not you. Terrence is like rubbing his ear on one of his shoulders like he's got tinnitus or something and he's like, are you sure you don't want to tell us what's in that case? It's kind of yeah. loud. You can hear it? Well, sort of. Like having like having one of those little fairies whisper in your ear. You know how they sometimes like to sit on your shoulders and then they're just trying to be quiet but it's too quiet and it's like it's horrible. Okay. Huh. Cypher, can you hear anything? Since we established you had fantastic hearing. Um, I can hear you. Uh, you're both speaking. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad Terrence, you can hear that. Terrence is just like rubbing at his ear. He's like, all right. All right, that's fine. Tell me at least you have the case warded. Because if this thing is as loud to me as it is, I'm sure somebody else will pick up on it too. And hey, you got some wording on it, or is that something I'm gonna need to do? What have they got? Some sort of screaming fairy in there, oh. Tony. The object is magic. There is wording on the. Okay. Good. I have one last question before we continue. Is it a live 
Like, does it does it breathe? Does it no. eat? No. Okay. Okay. Good. It I'm not. An item. Inanimate. I'm not a part of of flesh trafficking. We are not trafficking any form of flesh. Good. All right. It is a focus. Um, a focus. Okay. Those are hard to come by. Which is why you can get paid the agreed upon fee. Sounds good. All right. Where are we taking it and how are we guarding it? Well, we'll figure out the how we're guarding it bit, but like, where are we taking it? <laughs> we will be taking it to the Asphalt Devil Emporium tomorrow night at midnight. The, the what? Asphalt Devil Emporium? We will be meeting the albinos in the garden. Ah, uh, so we're there as guards. Yep. We're, we're not taking it. Nope. No. Do you think I'm scary enough for this job? You're not meant to scare them. You're just meant to be good at what you do. Don't guards usually just scare people? Oh, well. We'll be the sneaky kind of guards that set up trap. Um, what do the wards on the case do? They don't explode, do they? No. Yeah, I'm asking specifically because I want to know whether or not we need to be a distance from it if they get triggered. They do not explode. The case has been sealed for some time. Okay. Before not... you were born. Oh, okay. So is this some kind of Lost Ark nonsense? Are we going to melt if it gets I... open? I hope not. not. You hope not? <laughs> All right. Maybe both. Mis mysterious. Uh... Okay, what does the case look like? I, I was operating off of like a chic leather newish <laughs> case, but apparently not. It's old. Mm. Oh, that's a neat looking box. And I'm I'm gonna go ahead and assume there's ruins inscribed on the outside of it. That's very fairly chic for maybe the yeah. 1920s. It's a. It almost looks like the kind of wooden suitcase people would take on on ships. Huh. Oh, right. Like that one that sunk on its that maiden one. voyage. Yeah, the one yeah. where they ate mayonnaise of salmon. <laughs> Yep. The most famous thing about that ship. That's the reason why it sunk. <laughs> Everyone that, got so sick. The mayonnaise of salmon. Mayonnaise of salmon. <laughs> We're not eating this shit. We're going <laughs> to... We'll sink the boat before we eat sink it. Sink the boat. They didn't really hit an iceberg. It was, they just... Yeah. They sabotaged their own ship because the food. Hmm. Uh, last question for you. Yes. Do you want us to take this with us now, or are we just going to meet you there and we'll guard it from that? You can meet me here tomorrow, and then I will give you the case. What time? Midnight? Oh, no, we had to be there by midnight, yes. Uh, so let's say 11. That is acceptable. All right. All right. Sounds like a plan. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you in a little bit less than 24 hours. Uh-huh. Very good. Cypher turns. Is the door open now? Yeah, yep. he didn't close it after the second spell. Okay. And she walks out of the room. And we'll follow Cypher. We've been here less than half an hour, yeah? Yeah, it's like 20 yeah. minutes. So George should still be there. All right. Terrence is going to look back at the runes on, uh, inscribed on the side of the house and, and make a mental note to look them up in his books later. Okay. Noticing that, Ren's gonna say, Terry, did you ever figure out what those runes on the floor were? The like, runes on the floor? draw for you? Like six weeks oh. ago. All right. Um, you still got the photos on your phone, don't forget of all the runey things. Well, these ones, these ones he didn't see. He just made me draw them when I saw them, when you were somewhere else, where, in the place where everybody was sleeping. <laughs> All right, uh, I will, I will do some research tonight. He's like rubbing at his eyes, like oh, he's tired. You don't tired. have to. I was just wondering. Oh no, something I like to do, and I usually don't go to sleep until late anyway. Oh, that's a bad idea. What? Is a bad idea. Staying up too late. Oh, I sleep until noon anyway. It's fine. Mm, okay. <laughs>
And he hops into the back of the cab. Hiya, George. Oh, no one's dead, so I guess that went okay. Yeah, that went all right. Better than last time. This guy's a bit squirrely, but... Cypher didn't get hit with an arrow this time, so... He wants me to be a guard. Well, not just you. <laughs> Can you believe that, George? Hey, at least you've got a gun. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. Well, he might I want could, you to be a guard in cyberspace. <laughs> I didn't think of that. I thought I could scare them using teenage lingo. <laughs> please, please, please give us some teenage lingo, Cypher. What, you're gonna drop yeppers on them? <laughs> please, I would like to hear. <laughs> As a poor old person in my 30s, I would love to hear some teenage lingo cipher. You're an ass, Ren. You're an ass. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound much like a teenager. Sure it did. <laughs> Not teenage specific. <laughs> no, everyone says that. You're right. Come on, Cypher. You can do better than that. <laughs> Terrence is just grinning at her. <laughs> Cypher's keeping quiet. She goes, she goes, she goes, she just goes. Go. Go. Oh? Terry. Oh? Terry. George. Go. <laughs> Terry. <laughs> oh, George, can you uh can you swing by uh Burger Queen? Uh, yeah, hungry. sure. Do you want anything? He asks the taxi at large, including George in this conversation. Coffee would be good. Um Alright. Cypher? Uh, Cypher was looking out the window completely dazed and she looked a little bit confused. Do you want anything um, from Burger Queen? Uh, do they have ginger tea? <laughs> they probably have ginger ale. I doubt it, but I'll get you a ginger ale. I'm asking because none of us had dinner. Aren't you hungry? And Cypher, you've had two granola bars and that's it. I'm going to get you some food. Uh-huh. That's a good idea. You should eat, Cypher. Well, I, I'm not that hungry, but maybe a chip? A single? A singular chip. One. Hmm. A big one? <laughs> what? Terence is going to order a meal for Ren, a meal for himself, ah. and an entire container of fries for Ren. Or for, for uh, Piper. <laughs> well, and a coffee <laughs> for George. Ren will look kind of guilty, but eat it all very quickly. And they've got a uh, mascot, which is like this weird, grinning, somewhat slutty queen kind, with a big, weird head. <laughs> this is a really <laughs> weird franchise. Oh, I, I appreciate so I'm gonna have to draw that later. <laughs> what have I done to myself? Uh, Damn you it! Got, you should have got Cipher a kid's meal, and she could have had a, a paper crown. Ooh, ooh! Damn it! Next time. Yeah. And he he collects the food from from George and passes it around. Thank Thanks you. for the coffee. No problem at all, George. You drive us around everywhere. Uh -huh. Cipher eats something. Cypher opens up the box of chips and pulls out a chip and eats it. <laughs> Just Smiling one. Smiling at Ren. And then closes the box. Oh. If you don't start eating properly, I'm going to have to break into your house just to check that it's clean and that you've got actual food and that's going to take up a lot of my time that I don't have. We don't need to do that. These fries are very addictive. She'll end up eating them unconsciously. <sighs> she better. I do not have time to be breaking into her house and cleaning it every week, but I'm going to, if she doesn't... I mean, she was nice to the fairies and, I don't know, offered them honey or something. She might be able to conscript some of them to clean her house. <laughs> Statistics would indicate... That... A fairy could possibly die 
in a home incident while cleaning uh, for another person. Okay. You're very hung up on the topic of fairies dying, Cypher. Have you ever noticed that? I wonder if a fairy's ever been caught in a garbage disposal unit. Oh, that wouldn't be pretty. <sighs> Cypher, it's a little concerning how much time you apparently think about how all the ways fairies can die. They're so small and okay. defenseless. They're small. Nowhere near as small as a fairy. No. I wonder if they ever get caught on a bug zapper. Oh, gosh. No wonder the fairies at Cornerstones hate you. What? The fairies hate me? So I hear. I never did anything to the fairies. You constantly talk about all the ways they could die. How would you like it if somebody was constantly talking about all the ways you could die? Well, if I was talking to an insurance salesman and they were telling me all the ways that I could possibly die... Yeah, but you're not die, selling you're the not fairies saying. insurance cipher. I'm just merely stating a fact. Oh, dear. We should ask Mr. Lambert to start telling Cypher about all the ways she can die. Oh. Do you think he'd do that, George? Yeah, he'd probably start with shark attack. <laughs> that's one. <laughs> Skipping in traffic, that's another. Not eating. Uh, getting pneumonia. Lots of ways Cypher could die. <sighs> Cypher sort of sighs. She's picks out another chip and she's mindlessly chomping <laughs> on it. Ren is not going to bring up the fact that she's eating more in case she stops. Terrence is staring at the car park. He's which is empty. He's just staring at it. Wait, what? Cypher looks at Terence and she's taking another chip out of the box and <laughs> I think she said we're like her it. parents. Oh well, neither of you make or save enough money to feed yourselves. Apparently I'm the only one who does that. I I cannot argue. I have expenses that are more important. Well, they won't be more important if you starve to death, will it? No. I won't starve to death, I just Hey Terry. What? Cypher's sliding another chip out of the box and into her mouth. She's eating it. She's grinning at you. Terrence looks <laughs> confused and mildly unsettled. What? Who bricked your phone, dear? Yeah. Is, is this some kind of threat? What is... <laughs> you, you, you bricked my old phone so they couldn't find me. What about it? I scratch your back, you're scratching mine, I think. Why the hell am I eating these goddamn chips? Because <laughs> they're tasty and addictive. Uh, and when they're gone, you'll miss them. Oh, okay, so I what we're supposed to understand from your eating a french fry and saying Terry's name in a weird way is that he should buy you food because you bricked his phone. Did I put sugar on these things? What the heck? Yeah. I think so. Terrence's head whip, whips back to the window and he stares out the car. He's like, what in the hell? What is it? I don't know. You don't know? Wait, is the car moving or are we stopped? You are still or, stopped. Uh, where? Like by the so drive through We haven't or? left the drive through of the... We haven't left the drive through <laughs> <laughs> We paid it a meeting. We're just still hanging out. In the car park. <laughs> Ah, oh, we're eating in the car park. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, what? You seem concerned about something, which is concerning, maybe? So I just Terrence is just kind of staring out the window, and he's he's eating the rest of his fries kind of slowly, like he's trying to concentrate <laughs> on something else at the same time. Or, like, he's doing it unconsciously, like he said Cypher uh, would do. Ren finished her food with, like, two minutes of getting it. Has Cypher finished her fries? Cypher turns to Ren. She's got a handful of fries. And she's like a hand wrapped around. She's got like 30 fries wrapped. 
And she's eating <laughs> she's them. Got, like, like, <laughs> like a... Any... Terrence <laughs> glances back at this. He kind of frowns a little bit and hands Ren the, like, half a container of fries that he has left. And he goes back to oh. staring at... Okay. Ren's gonna eat those, then. The window. Uh... Cypher's got dirty in her hand. Yep. As she's about halfway through eating down like, like a massive chip log at the moment. <laughs> Terence is staring out the window and he's like, Tinnitus? Tarentus? Tarentius? Tinnitus? Do you hear that thing again? No, it's it's saying a word. Do you hear something saying a word? Tarentius. Tarent like <gasps> Tarantula. Tarentius? No. no, like torrential, like. No, like T. Like almost like the beginning of my name, like Taren. Taren. Tis. Tis. You're hearing this? Yeah, it's like the whispers from the from the box again, but. Okay. Ah, don't make crazy noises at my mouth. I'm not. Right? I'm not. I'm worried. I'm not worried you're crazy. I'm like, what if the magic thing somehow got in your brain? I don't know. Yeah, they do that. I I don't know. I'll look into it when I'm looking up the ruins tonight. I don't know anything about magic, so maybe that's how it works. All right. Um, Terrence. Terrence. Kind of, he destroys the burger he gets really quickly, and he's like, alright guys, give me your garbage, we're gonna get it out of George's taxi, and then we're gonna go home, and I'm gonna do my homework, and you guys do whatever you do at night. Okay. So he does that, he touches the garbage, gets back in the car, and let's go. Let's go. So where to? Uh... uh drop me off in my place first, I need to get some work done. You can drop me off at uh, Cypher's apartment. I'll walk. All right. Oh, and I was going to say, you can drop me off at Ren's place and I can walk. <laughs> no. Is that what you'd like to do? No, no one's being dropped off at my place. Not me, not anyone. Oh, George, do you know where Ren lives? No. At least he better not. No. <laughs> gotcha. George wink or uh, George winks. Yes, I control <laughs> George. Now. Does he? <laughs> Harris That's winks right. at George. He's like, of course you don't know. You wouldn't do something like that. I have never gotten a taxi from my apartment or to it. Terrence is just leaning back and grinning and watching the scenery as it goes by. Fine. Imply that someone knows where my apartment is. Not like I'll have to move or anything. He grins bigger. <laughs> and he drops Terry off. He could always come and live with me. I I'm looking for a house cleaner. <laughs> Tempting, but I can't. Alright. Thank you, George. Have a good night, ladies. Don't get in Thank too you. much trouble. Thank you for the food. Oh, uh, hang on. Run's gonna take Terry's sweater off and give it back to him. Uh, didn't you say you were walking home? Yeah, but if Dr Cypher gets dropped off at her apartment, she can give me my sweater back. Ah, that that makes sense. Alright, thank you. He takes the sweater back and he heads inside to go scour some books. Oh, Cypher looks down at the um, all the salt that's on the front of the sweater. It doesn't looks matter. Up red. <laughs> it's fine, I actually do laundry, Cypher. Doing some tomorrow morning. It'll be done. It's all yep. good. What would be a research role? <laughs> knowledge? Yeah, it would be knowledge, but the knowledge skills are science, society, and the net. Um, uh, isn't there Definitely like knowledge not. knowledge lore or something? Astrocartography? What? Yeah, I've got that on mine too, but that's not really applicable. Uh, I just have, I have Asteroid Shadow of Beanstalk, 
Oh, I'm using something that combines like a ton of Genesis stuff. So mm. I've got knowledge lore, knowledge science, knowledge geography, knowledge forbidden. Is it forbidden? Knowledge Coercion. crucible, whatever that means. Negotiation. Come on, you can tell me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, all right. So, which which uh, characteristic is lore? Intelligence. Uh, yeah, it is. Alright. Three, and he would. Well, it could be cunning. But it is intelligence. He would definitely have spent some of his experience in that. Do I have any experience to spend? We have, well, I think we have five. Do we? Do we only have more. five? Where's my experience? I know I wrote it down somewhere. I hope I. Oh, I, I've got ten. Available. Which everyone else should have fifteen. Experience, yeah, because everyone else did oh. one more thing. Maybe I, maybe I spent ten already. Career in this case, so because books. Because books. Well, Aaron knows what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> part of his backstory. He used to work for a book company. Ooh. Who, Aaron? No, uh, <laughs> Terrence. Oh. I did actually. But he, he, he did. Uh, but how would that be part of Terry's backstory if Aaron <laughs> used to work for a book company? What I heard was Aaron knows what I'm talking about because it was part of his backstory. <laughs> yeah, Terry's <laughs> backstory. Like, Aaron, Aaron has, has a backstory. This awesome backstory where he works <laughs> for a bookstore, and that's, oh. that's really cool. Okay. Terrence is going to roll for the first set of runes. I think I'm runes. crying. <laughs> oh. Stop it. <laughs> it's going to be. Uh, the first, the first set of ruins, the one that he got Emily to, or Ren oh, to yeah. draw. Okay. Yeah, Emily, how, Emily didn't draw them, because Emily didn't how, how, them, so like... how difficult of knowledge uh, would that be? Two? Two, because okay. that's in your purview of knowledge. Woo! They were just squiggly lines, if I drew them. Uh, I don't know what you want the threat to be. I will give you the info, because you succeeded. I didn't get a threat. I just got one success. Uh, she's rolling in Uda. Oh shoot! <laughs> oh yeah, she did too. Yeah, oh. the last, the last one okay, in. Okay, well, uh, I just saw the last one was. Yeah, in the, the last one in Shadow Rise right. uh, <laughs> from earlier. That's <laughs> where magic belongs. Sorry. I don't know. I thought it was intentional or something. <laughs> I did that completely accidentally. Sorry. They're all called dice rolls. It's very confusing. I uh, uh, I'm gonna just. Minimize that so I don't do that again. The Eberron one's called Rolls of Chance. Nice. Alright. Where we all roll. Rolls of Chance, more like rolls of. Yeah, Ooh. where we all roll terribly. Okay. And nearly die. You know, Terrence is, is writing down his findings in a little notebook that he carries around in his bag with him. Excellent. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna bug Aaron and he's gonna hate me for it. Can I have pictures of these ruins? If I can find some. Yes! Awesome. Thank you. Um, alright. And he's going to roll to research the next set of ruins. He's, he's gonna tell Ren and Cypher about his findings at Cornerstones the next day. So I don't want to spoil it too much now. Um... I'm, I'm in the right dice rolls now, right? Yes, good. Okay. How difficult for the ruins on the house? Uh, same. Same? Okay. Wheelhouse. Ooh. Damn. I'm, I'm on a roll today. Aha. Uh -huh. I succeed one time. No advantages, disadvantages. All right. Two purples again for that one. Um, how much does Terence know about old languages? Quite a bit. He worked with. Um, then it can be two. Two purple. Yeah. Okay. Hell. Oh no. All right. He's he's not going to work on that more tonight. He's going to uh, actually. The next day, he's going to talk to Cypher and Ren about visiting an old friend of his. Ooh. Who runs a mystic shop that happens to sell books and crap. Cool. If the GM 
decides that that's an okay thing to do. Mm -hmm. I assumed she was going to appear in this um, adventure. Okay. So Terrence is going to go to bed. He's tired. He did. A, he's he's got a bunch of books all out, and they're like in a <laughs> in a messy paper pile in a semicircle around him on the floor. He's like, all right, I'm done. I'm going to bed. And he's going to he's going to get up, and he's going to try the the telekinesis that the guy <laughs> showed him to put his books away, and it's probably going to be stupid hard. Uh, that would be sorcery, I think. Yep. Right. And you can have a red for this one because it's brand new. Yep. It would be really sad if he accidentally lights all his books on fire. Oh no! <laughs> Rolls right. of despair. Oh dear! No. Apartment's on fire. <laughs> That's what you're hoping for. You guys are so mean. Now Ren's not the one who has to move. Uh, so <laughs> two purples and a red. Yep. Okay. Cypher's got a new flatmate. Oh well. Well. Here. Not bad. All right. But... So. <laughs> It's not a despair. He, nope. he doesn't do it. So he tries, and they kind of they flutter a bunch, but they all just kind of fall back into the into the piles they were in. They don't really do anything aside from that. Okay. He didn't Take, lose any of the pages he was on. Take a little bit of strain, just as if you, Terry was like putting so much effort into this, but just yep. not much happened. <laughs> yeah, he was like, oh well, I didn't destroy anything and but no there's no fire there's no fire and I just gotta practice for alright bedtime and he he steps over it he's not putting it away he's tired he's going to bed mm. and what are you guys doing Did, so we're um, dropping Cypher off first at yep. the apartment so Cypher's just going to go home and go to bed before right. Cypher gets out of the taxi, oh no, because we're both getting out of the taxi, fine. Yeah. As we get out of the taxi, <laughs> Ren is going to pull out from her backpack a non-contact laser thermometer and check if Cypher has a fever, which I guess Cypher knows Who, if she does. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Only God would know that. I don't know. Let's roll for it. Let's roll for it. Roll for it. Okay. Yeah, see what happens. All right. Roll resilience against what? Uh, and a strain. Say two. And a strain because I hadn't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You should. There should be some strain. Yes. Cipher has a fever. Yeah. Thought so. Okay. A little bit more than mild, but below moderate. Hmm. You are going straight to bed, and you are drinking some water, and you are not doing anything ridiculous uh, until tomorrow when we do have to go do a job, but go to sleep now. I can't see, Ren. Did she point at me for any of those? Uh, what? I'm talking to Cypher. Okay, I was just checking. Okay, Bye, thanks. mother. <laughs> Bye. Ren's gonna walk away. It's been a weird night. Cypher shakes her head and walks inside and sits in front of her computer. So, go to bed. She hears a voice in her mind, which is her conscience. Shadowrun, a slice of life adventure in a dystopian future. Starring Becca as Terry the Mage. Raven Insane as Cypher the Hacker. And Ghost as the GM. The excellent Shadowrun is produced by Catalyst Game Labs. The Genesis rule set comes from Fantasy Flight Games. And many of the sounds and music comes from Sirenscape which is an amazing tool for bringing more life to your game table. This has been a Crit Fail production. What the deuce? Oh, what know. the hell? What oh, is it? No, oh, yeah, you'll have to edit out, out this part, obviously, Aaron. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sorry. What? There's a spider. Oh. It is climbing. He's back. Yeah, it's the same one. Shoot. Oh.
Did you did you just apologize to the spider? No, I said shoo. No, before that you said, oh my goodness, and I'm sorry, it's been recorded, you can't deny it. Oh, well, I don't know. I might have been <laughs> saying sorry for making a noise of distress about a spider when we're recording, but... Oh, okay. I'm, I'm fond of the idea that you apologize to the spider, so I'm gonna stick with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't like it. Noise of the spider falling off the ceiling towards me. I am very terrified. Oh, oh my god. I thought that was the computer noise, and then I was like, no. wait, is Emily screeching about spiders again? Yes, she is. I thought Ren was Sorry. freaking out. No! <laughs> it's me! Oh, it's a it's a kaleidoscope of new Emily sounds. <laughs> Are your parents still awake, or somebody you can ask to be like valiant and kill it, it for keeps you? It's crawling up and then falling back down. It likes <laughs> you. No, it hates me, or it would leave me alone. It just wants to be your friend, Emily. No, it doesn't. It has evil plots. <laughs> 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 I so just... want to have a tiny sentient spider in Shadowrun. <laughs> <laughs> That wouldn't bother me. It's not a real one. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my goodness, that was terrifying. Well, on 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 Cipher was more like a cloak. On? <laughs> How many ons was that? <laughs> <sighs> what does the fox? I just came across the what does the fox say? Um. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs>